To diversify a bit from all the Antec cases and their AIOs, today we're going to talk about their new fans. And uh, right here we have the Fusion 120 addressable RGB fan kit, which means it comes with five fans and a controller box, which is included. This five pack is uh, basically including five white fans, which are addressable RGB and You've seen the same version of fans in black version on the Vortex 240 and 360. So I'm quite uh, impressed, I would say, that they went with a different color scheme as well. And it might be a hint from Antec, I personally don't know, but it might be a hint that they're working on a Vortex white version, maybe. That would be really cool actually to see it, and especially since they have white cases. Now, apart from the Fusion 120 addressable RGB, we have right here, this is Storm 120 case fan. I have only one piece right here, so I'm just going to present it to you and compare the specifications from the Storm with the Fusion ones. This is a non-RGB 4-pin PWM fan, which definitely has an impressive specifications when you compare it to the Fusion, and uh, we'll get to that part quite soon. So. First of all, let's unbox the, these uh, Fusion ones. So, as I stated, we have a control box. Now, this control box is already familiar to all of you guys. I've already shown you in past videos. It has five PWM headers and five addressable RGB headers. It connects to your motherboard with PWM header and an addressable RGB header. Plus, for the power for the control box, you use your SATA power cable from your power supply which is quite simple and there's no fuss about that but here we go check this out it really does look quite nice i'm impressed with the fusion 120 the standard black version which is also addressable rgb but these white ones they look exquisite and just wow white blades white body, white cables, and we have quite unique multilateral uh, plexi around here that lights up and looks wow. It really does look wow. Now, these fans have rubber pads on all sides to prevent additional vibrations coming when the fan is spinning. So, five of these plus the control box. But let's check out the Storm one as well because I'm quite curious, is there any similarities in the design? Let's see what we got here inside the box. We get a uh, storm manual, but we don't need that. We already know. I already know what it's about. You get four screws, logical. And here we go. You get a storm fan, which has seven blades. You have a possibility to daisy chain more of those with a PWM header and additional splitter here. And this cable is quite short. This is uh, meant for daisy chaining them if you go with three on front or three at the top, depending on the case. And you don't want to extend those long cables and have to reroute them at the back. This is the reason you get additional quite longer cable, which is also PWM. So you connect it to the main header here and then to your motherboard. This gives you an opportunity to actually do some quite nice and clean cable management, which is quite cool. It also has four rubber pads on each connection part where you place uh, the screws on both sides actually. So it prevents additional noise from vibration of the fan when it spins, which is outstanding. Now let's compare the specs. So Fusion and Storm are both uh, PWM fans. Uh, the code name for the Fusion is AH1202FM1, uh, while for the Storm is AF1202FM1. They use a PWM connection for regulating the speeds. Now for the Storm we have FDB bearing, while for the Fusion we have hydraulic bearing. The speeds for the Fusion one go from 600 to 2000 RPMs, while here on Fusion ones, it also goes from 600 to 2000, but it has plus minus 10% in the RPMs. Now the airflow. The CFM for the Fusion is 57.93, while for the Storm is 66.56, and air pressure is 2.7 millimeters 
H2O, which is the maximum, of course, while the fusion is 2.11. Now, since you probably already seen the video for the NX410 white, and I use Vortex 240 on 7600X, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the case fans into these fusion ones. Uh, two fusion ones are already on the AIO, so I'm going to place one fusion at the back and two fusion on the front, so we'll have five 120 millimeter fusion addressable RGB fans inside the case. And what I'm going to do with this is going to show you what performance and thermals we get with the almost same fan configuration. Instead of 140, we're going to place 120 and see the thermals in that case scenario. So let's check that out. I know some of you will say that who in uh, any common sense will swap 140 with 120, but I wanted to check out the thermals and difference between the stock version of the NX410 and the Fusion 120 addressable RGB. Now this is the result. We have five Fusion 120, two on front, two on top on the radiator and one at the rear. The stock version and testing out in AIDA 64 Extreme Edition and Indigo Benchmark in AIDA 64 Extreme Edition with CPU, FPU, system memory, cache and GPU in stock version got 66 degrees Celsius on the processor which is AMD Ryzen 5 7600X and 54 degrees Celsius on Sapphire Radeon RX 6650 XT Nitro Plus. But placing the Fusion fans inside the case as already said and mentioned the configuration I got the same temperature on the CPU and 58 on the GPU. Now here's the interesting thing, Indigo Benchmark, 78 on the CPU uh, while in the stock version and 79 with the Fusion fans. So what does this give you guys? It gives you something that the stock fans are controlled exclusively with SATA power. So they're constantly running on 100% even though they're quite quiet i would say but the control for the rgb goes exclusively on the led button on top of the case here you have a control box that actually has a three pin five volts addressable rgb header that goes to a motherboard and four pin pwm header that also goes to a motherboard so you can control that via your motherboard or bios it doesn't matter you can choose what you do but the control box also gives you more modes than the led button on top to control the addressable rgb on the fans that's it that's the difference plus it continues and keeps the same temperature as 140 now 140 even though they're running on 100 they're quite quiet and here when we use the fusion addressable rgb fans they do go up to 85 90 percent of the speed and they are heard so it all depends on your choice would you like to go with a PWM fans that you could set the curve in BIOS and adjust the RGB through the control box, set it to whatever you wish or through your motherboard as well. Or you want to go with addressable RGB fans, can't be controlled with the speeds and the only way to control the addressable RGB is through the case. As already stated in the NX410, I have nothing against it. The fans are quite alright and they do work as you can see. But this is something to go with, um, I would say, a unofficial design of the fans. Now, taking the Storm ones into consideration, they are actually much better. They would be much better just because of the reading through the specifications and having much better airflow and much higher air pressure. So I would say the temperatures would go lower with these ones, but these are non-RGB and just for you guys who like anti-RGB builds. So there's that. But cool thing that Antec gives you an option, RGB, non-RGB, black, white, it's all up to you to decide. So guys, I'll place the links below for the Antec Fusion 120 addressable RGB fans, five pieces plus a controller or the Antec Storm 120 millimeter fan. They come in a single box, so you'll have to buy more of those, but the cool thing with the Storm ones, they can be daisy chained. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video and checking out this small comparison with the stock fans and something that they sell individually. Maybe you like the Fusion fans, maybe you'll just keep the stock fans and just add two more at the top with the 240 Vortex. It's all up to you to see and decide what suits you best. 
So if you liked what you've seen, don't forget to subscribe to keep the channel grow and not to miss the future videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.